What is up guys, how's it going? It's Josh here, back with a brand new video. Yes guys, it's been a while since I've said that, and it's been a while since I made my last video. My last video was two or three, you know, like three or four weeks ago actually, that's really long. Um, I've just been super busy with track and school and everything, I know I've said that so many times. But track season is coming to a close very soon, so then I will be able to get back to daily uploading. I'll be uploading every Monday and Friday now, just because, you know, it's not, it's so much stress to have to upload because before I was trying to upload every two days, so now, and there was just a lot of stress, you know, making a video and trying to upload and make sure I upload on those every, like every two days. So now I'm just going to make Monday and Friday my uploading days. That way I can make, I can take the whole week to make all a bunch of videos and then I can have videos for Monday and Friday to um, hopefully help me upload more and everything, help me make sure I upload and everything. So yeah, that's gonna be my uploading schedule for now. But today guys, this video is going to be tips for beginning YouTubers part two, because I made a video a while back, when I, like a year ago, last year. Um, well, not last year, but the year before that, my freshman year when I first like started making videos, um, I made a video um, called tips for beginner YouTubers and I pretty much gave you like the basic things you needed to know um, if you first started off YouTube, you know, the basic easy stuff. But today I'm going to kind of give you a little tutorial and a little more detail into kind of that process. And today I'm going to be teaching you how I edit my videos. Right, let's get right into the tutorial, guys, and um, hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so now that we're here at my phone, I'm basically going to show you what apps I use, how to use them. Um, it's not anything too complicated, it's very simple. The app does really well at explaining, you know, new things if you need help or anything. So yeah, like I said, it's pretty simple. This is mostly going to be used for beginning YouTubers because a lot of the more experienced YouTubers are going to use computers to edit their com to edit their videos just because, I know, it's a lot better. You get a lot better editing using your computer. But this is basically, if you're making just like a simple video, nothing like crazy like a vlog or anything. Like a vlog, you can easily, it's just cutting stuff up. It's basic stuff. So yeah, let's get right into it. To edit my videos is basically this app right here and it's called iMovie i'm pretty sure most of you guys know what the app that is it's um you can get it free in the app store i'm pretty sure it came with the new update um i'm not exactly sure but i'm pretty sure it's free so yeah once you download the app i'm basically just gonna open it up to show you so you got this basic thing you got the videos up here projects and then you got like a theater you can save all this your stuff i don't really use that but yeah so projects, you have all your different projects you have saved. You can easily go into it, edit it at any time you want, and it'll pick up right after, right where you were left off, and it won't change anything or anything. So yeah, to make a new video or, any, or a new project, you just press this plus sign right here, and you can either pick a trailer or a movie. So if you're making a video, you just press movie. And for this, I would just press simple because it's basically just like the transitions and everything. So yeah, if you're just making a regular video, just press simple and then press create in the top right corner. Okay, so this is the basic kind of layout up here. It gives you different things like it shows you that this is to make or to select a video, photo, or audio. That is to record and that is for help. So yeah, like it said, just to import a video or photo or audio or anything, you just press this button right here. And then it gives you a list of all your like different stuffs in your camera roll and everything recently added. Actually, let's go to all. And I'm just going to import this old video I had from an, an old vlog. So yeah, so it, you can easily just scroll through here at any time you want to do anything. So yeah, so I'm going to show you how to import audio. What you're going to do is you're going to press that button again, and you're going to go down to the bottom. And you're going to you know, press audio, and then it gives you a, like a list. You can pick theme music, which are, this is like the different themes, like I said. Like the thing was transitions. It also comes with different theme music. I normally use simple sometimes. I normally use that sometimes, um, just because you can't get a copyright strike from that because it's not copyrighted. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go to playlists and I'm gonna go to favorites because that's where I have most of my background music. And you can either you can pick through any of your stuff. It's very you know it's not really hard to get to. So I'm gonna pick a song real quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick this song right here, and you just press the little down button and it pretty much puts it in the background. Now you can play it. There's some uh, behind the scenes, by the way. 
Okay, so when you first import it to like manage the different like how to change like the audio to make it blend in with your video because obviously you don't want your music too loud because then you won't be able to hear what's in the actual video. You simply tap onto the music, tap onto the audio itself, and then go to and press this right here. So after you press that, you are presented with this little dial and you can change the audio and it gives you a little percent down here. Oops, now I'm to focus. Gives you a little percent and you can basically just m mess with it and just play it and see how you would like it. And you can also press onto your video and also change the audio of your video, the volume for your video. So you can blend it. Um, I normally keep this at 100. And just drop this down to like 38, 40 maybe. And uh, that's mostly what I do for video, for like audio. And but if I put in music for my video, for the background music. Okay, so on to like the main part and that is the splitting, so I'm gonna play through the video and stop it where I want it to split, where the actual video starts. Good to see me focus my camera. Okay, so as you saw, there was a bunch of empty footage, so I'm gonna stop it right when I started talking. I'm gonna stop it a little before. You simply click onto the video, sorry if this thing's not focusing, and you go down and press these scissors and then you have these selections down here and you press the split and this now splits it into two different videos and this is the transition I'll show you how to change the transitions and everything later so I'm just going, I don't want any of this this is all empty footage so what I'm going to do to delete it is simply press on it go down to here and press delete and then that just deletes that part that part and keeps the rest of the video. Okay, so that's how to split it. So I'm gonna go through it a little more. I'm gonna simply press on the video, like I said, press split. I'm gonna scroll through where I want it to begin again. I'm gonna split it right here, just random. And then what I'm gonna do is simply press on the part I wanna get rid of, delete it, and then you're left with this transition. So I'm gonna show you, like, this is a normal transition. So it's a regular transition. To change the transition, simply click on it and you're presented with these different transitions down here. Oh, focus, focus. So I'm gonna show you like dissolve. You can do whatever one you want. So as you saw, it kind of just dissolved the into the next, to the next one. And you can just mess around that, do whatever one you like. I normally just do none because it, it gives it a, a cleaner transition to the next part of the video. Guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to add text to your video. So what you're gonna wanna do is simply pick out a part of the video where you want the text and split it into its own sort of section. Depending on how long you want the text to be on the screen is how long you're gonna make the cut. If you want it for there for a long time, then you're gonna make it a long cut. If you don't want it for that long, then you just make it a shortcut. So then you gotta click onto that. You're gonna go down here and press the T. You got different transitions into your text, how your text pops up and whatever. I'm just gonna pick pop up because I use that one a lot. Just click on the text and you can then change the text to whatever you want. I'm just gonna put hello. And then now I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I normally get cramps. Um, but normally when I'm running, I don't really feel that much and that's what it looks like, and that's how you add text to your video. Okay guys, so that's pretty much the fundamentals and the basics of how to use iMovie. It's pretty simple, guys, and I hope this helped you out for any of you beginning YouTubers trying to make videos and trying to edit and everything. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything or need help with anything, please comment down below and I will be sure to answer any questions you guys have. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new guys, and that's gonna be it for the video. Peace. We're gonna fly.